Hey, what's up, Taurus? Welcome to the channel. It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. How y'all doing? So guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm doing your December Wealth and Abundance Tarot card reading, and I will be using the Gilded Tarot to do this reading. This is my favorite deck. I'm just going to clear it. My all-time favorite deck out of all my decks. I think I have 12. So, and I was guided by spirit to use this deck to do your reading. So I hope you enjoy and I hope it resonates, guys. So definitely throw me a comment and let me know how you're doing. Thumbs up, like, share, subscribe really helps me on the channel so I can continue doing your readings. But the most important thing is that you enjoy it and I hope it resonates. So uh, let me just do a couple more shuffles and we'll, we'll get right into it. So the first card I'm going to pull is it, it represents your current financial situation. So let's have a look at that. And I feel like I'm going to do a deck cut and pull that card. So your current financial situation is that you've got a little bit more planning to do. Um, it's like it's like I'm seeing that there's definitely a seed germinating for you. Um, you know, you put in a little bit of work. You could be like dusting off your resume and looking for something new. You could have a new business idea. So your current situation is that you probably have a little bit more of a ways to go before you're exactly where you wanna be. So will money come in soon? And this is kind of cool that this card keeps coming up. Um, you guys, I think you're a fourth sign that I've seen this card come up. This is the Six of Pentacles. So you do have like, money is around you right? It's just, it's surrounding you. And there's things that you can do to um, sort of bring that into your reality a little bit faster. And that is through your positive energy. It's through um, how you bless other people, like whether it's a time donation, there are certain cultures that believe that they, um, you know, donating 30% of their income. But if that's not possible for you, um, because, you know, it's the give and take, and you can see that in the card here. It's the give and take. Um, and it's not so much the money, it's the energy behind the money, because that's all that money is, right? So it's an energy. And how are you exchanging that, you know, and helping people? So there is money around you, and you can make it come in faster with the way that you um, sort of give your time away or your money away. And even if it's just a little bit to help people, like um, through my day job, we have this, um, we donate to United Way. I'm in Canada, so I, I don't know if, if that's a global thing, but it just comes right off my paycheck. And so I donate that way. And I, I like, I donate to um, animal rescues and, you know, just being helpful to other people and not because I'm expecting anything in return, but it's just a really good energy to have. And um, was it Oprah Winfrey said that, you know, when, when you're serving other people, that's the universe recognizes that. And I find that a lot of really, really wealthy people that um, had to make their own money, they say that you're rewarded through your service to other people. So how can you serve people? I think, and that will really help to activate that money coming in. And it's in your source, like it's there for you. Um, I just think that there's a little tweak to your energy that needs to be made first. So let's see what opportunities, um, financial opportunities you can consider. This is kind of interesting. So it looks like, um, it looks like one of the choices here that you might be looking at might not be the correct one because it, it should come to an end here. So really pay attention when you're looking at opportunities, um, you know, because we've got the Ten of Swords here and it means that there's there's sort of a, a final outcome to a situation. So, you know, you could be, you could take the wrong path. So really do your research here, guys. Um, you know, because not every path leads to glory, right? So if you're planning on a new investment or a new job or whatever it is that you're planning on doing that relates to your financial choices, make sure you get second opinions, like look on like for reviews and you can just do that on Google, right? Um, just type in whatever, if it's the name of a company, if it's the name of like financial um, 
instruments or whatever um, and get reviews. And then there'll be all kinds of re reviews and you can sort them by um, relevance, like stars, five to one, zero, you know. So really important when you're talking about building your financial future, um, do your research. So I'm seeing that just to consider things wisely. And I think that many of you watching could have things like um, how they say irons in the fire. So make sure you tend to them properly because um, you don't want to feel like you're giving your money away for nothing. So let's see. The fourth card is who or what projects are going to be financially beneficial to you. So this is really interesting. So I have the Empress card here. So there's definitely something coming in. And you're going to have to use a combination of your intuition and your intellect to arrive to the right conclusion. And there is somebody that could guide you. I'm getting kind of a fuzzy picture of who this person is. I think it's somebody that you know, and they could have a real strong, like knowledge combined with intuition on the path that you're, you're going down right now. So I'm gonna pull a clarifying card here because the Empress, she just, she is about bringing new opportunities in. Like it, she's like represents sort of birthing things into your reality, but I'm not sure who she is. So let's have a clarifying card here. So this is somebody that's going to be extremely accomplished. Um, and just don't, fe be, uh, don't feel nervous or afraid to ask people at the top of their um, game. Don't be afraid to ask them for help because you you know you have to understand that this person was helped all the way up until they got to the top. Like you can't get anywhere alone, right? Um, so this could be could be your your financial institution. Um, like if you can think of somebody that can help you with a little bit of advice, go and ask that person. This is somebody that's really, really, really accomplished. I believe that your intuition, like as soon as I said that, who's the first person that you thought of? Like go and talk to that person because they can give you a little bit of a guidance, right? So I'm actually gonna pull one more card because this is really important to how you make your next steps. I really, really think this is somebody you already know. This is a really successful person could be your boss you know it could be somebody in your family it could be a friend of your family it could be a friend of a friend just say can you set up a meeting I want to have coffee with this person and pick their brain about this and this and this so just go do it and don't be shy because this is about your financial outcome and this person has everything that they ever wanted so you can access people like that you know just don't be shy like even sometimes people will respond on Twitter or Instagram, you know? Like this might be seem, seem really funny, but you know, um, in Canada, um, I was watching Dragon's Den. Um, there's all these self-made millionaires, excuse me. And one of them was Michael Weckerly. And like I made a comment on his Instagram post and he responded to me right away. Like most people that are really, um, really wealthy, they're also really genuine people, you know, because the universe responds to that. Like it kind of comes back to the six of pentacles, like having that warm and open and generous attitude. So you'll find that in this person, like, and don't let somebody's I'm gonna keep that card. Bank balance intimidate you because the bank balance is the the it's the outcome of their generosity of spirit, and they'll share it with you. So let's see your outcome card here. This is just unbelievable, beautiful. Seven of Pentacles, you guys. This is the ultimate time for you guys to be doing everything that you can to ensure 
your level of wealth is at its highest for you and your family, seven of pentacles, your money tree, um, you know, you got your great big basket and you're gonna go pull it, you know, pentacles off the tree and fill up your basket and just be on the same level of the person that you might feel not might not have time for you right now or have that accessibility, you know, and even if people are busy, they'll give you five minutes, you know, and that could be the most important five minutes of your life. So don't be shy asking for advice, you know, um, like offer like, hey, can I bring you a coffee and ask you two questions? Thank you. You know, just do something like that. And it's just going to have this ultimate payoff for you guys. So all you have to do is like get that five minutes of help and then use it to plant that seed. And then you'll be, you'll be tending your money tree for the rest of your life. So guys, great reading. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.